in the Bahamas. Perfect weather, a pristine coastline, and plenty of beautiful people. But for the ultra-rich, a public beach just won't do. For those with private jets, there's a much more exclusive place to land, Nygaard Key. It's at the tip of the island of Nassau, and it's outrageous. Six acres of adult playground. Think Disneyland with a Mayan theme. And while this may look like a hotel resort, it's actually a totally private getaway. Let's just say it's the ultimate luxury vacation home. When guests come to Nygaard Key for the first time, they're always um, taken back. They can't believe their eyes. Uh, yeah, we can see why. You have to see it, it's phenomenal. This bundle of energy is Bianca Nygaard Murray. She's rich, very rich. <laughs> see, her millionaire dad, Peter, built this place. And now they rent it out to other rich people. It's such a beautiful way to enjoy the beauty of the Bahamas. Of course it is. That's because there are 22 themed bedroom suites, five jacuzzis, including one by the helipad. You could be sitting here at the jacuzzi right by the ocean and have your guests arrive by helicopter in this phenomenal landing pad. There's also a 32,000 square foot grand hall that includes a disco and even a human aquarium. Yeah, we'll get back to that later. There's so much attention to detail and really love that's been put into this property. So I can't wait to show you it, it this way. This sprawling mansion that we're about to see is among the most expensive vacation rentals in the world. That's right. <laughs> Hope you're sitting down because staying here costs $40,000 a night. That means a week-long vacation runs 280 grand. But then again, what did you expect? Someone has to help pay off those Mayan pyramids. That's right. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's right indeed. There are several Mayan-themed structures on this property, a couple of them towering 50 feet high, just like they would have in Mayan times. We pretend like we're still living with them. Oh. That explains it. And there's plenty more excess to go around, like the island's 300 palm trees. And my dad has actually handpicked all of these palm trees and planted them himself. Guess he needed to save on labor costs after spending 60 grand to buy the trees. And then there's the lions. Lots of lions. And the reason why is because my father is a Leo, and he looks like a lion, you'll notice. Right. My dad does everything on a large scale, so this would be like his planter. Uh, yeah. Normal planner. Nygaard key planner. Pretty much everything here is supersized. Including the bedrooms, or shall we say, guest quarters. There's 15 here in this location, and each one of them are private with their own kitchens, and they're all self-sufficient. Some of them are also three entire floors. This one has a beautiful view overlooking the water. It's called Ledge. How original. This is the first level right here, which is used for a lounge television area. And then come with me and we'll go to the bedrooms. Yes, bedrooms. There are, of course, more than one. So this is the main bedroom, and it's surrounded by water. All of our bedrooms are very romantic for couples to rent out and beautiful. Naturally but my favorite spot is over here. Just cross the Swank Rope Bridge, and there's another bedroom. I think this is the best sleep in the house. This cabana actually rocks with the wind. It's just like sleeping in a cradle. A very expensive cradle. It's like my zen spot. You may not think there's anything zen about spending 40 grand a night, but then again, you haven't seen the bathrooms. This unit has three bathrooms, but the one that I like the most is this one. Yes, that tub is a tree. This is a neat way to use a log. You know, my dad gets these wonderful ideas of carving a log into a bathtub. He just looks at that piece of wood and sees it in so many ways. Wondering how many ways conch shells can be used? My father has figured out ways to use the conch shells for the sink, for the handles, for the lights, for the walls, everything. 
If you can't quite put your finger on the look this place is going for, Bianca has the answer. Nygaard Key reminds me a little of Swiss Family Robinson meets George Jetsons. Of course, that's it. Rope bridges meet flat screen TVs. So who exactly stays here? A lot of beautiful people are really drawn to here. Like professional volleyball player Nicole Midwin. Yes, this is a place that has been seen by a lot of well-known people who have very good taste. If she does say so herself. For me, what makes it special is I'm a beach lover, and I thought Hawaii would be like my favorite island. I visited Hawaii like 52 times, and i just grown to love the Bahamas. Uh, you mean Nygaard Key? It's really spectacular. Anything in particular? Love the sand here. It's manicured, so nice, so you never step on anything and hurt your feet. Hey, that's pretty important for a volleyball player. Her feet are probably worth a couple of mil. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else is there to do here? This is definitely the place for recreation and leisure activities. They have a tennis pro who comes and gives tennis lessons, and he's an excellent teacher. Yes, guests here can get a private tennis lesson anytime they'd like. And they don't even have to change out of their flip-flop skirt or bikini top. Good thing, too, since they'll be spending most of their time in the water. So these are our wading pools. When you wake up in the morning, you can start sliding down these water slides. And this slide actually takes you all the way down to the pool. All right, now we get it. Guests at Nygaard Key spend 40 grand a night to act like children at a water park. But considering the five-figure price of admission, Nygaard Key has upped the ante. Ready for this? I have a mermaid school. Yes, a mermaid school. Wondering why? In case people want to be mermaids. <laughs> right, of course. Who doesn't dream of being a mermaid? Then you can swim in our tank that leads to the disco. You never know how my father's gonna make people's dreams come true <laughs> through his property. Think Robert De Niro tried this when he stayed here? Uh -huh. There's also a casino, billiards room, horses, oh, and a yacht for those guests that don't bring their own yacht, that is. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm sure it is. Actually, somebody asked me the other day what a normal day is like for me, and I said, there is no normal day. That pretty much says it all. Nygaard Key is definitely one of a kind. After all, the roster of celebrities who've stayed here includes Michael Jackson. If this place is that unique during the day, it's downright crazy at night. Right, Mr. Nygaard? Ever since I was a little boy, I dreamt about this. It's a place to enjoy, it's a place to have enjoyment with your friends. You know, and this is a way of spending money. There's no doubt about that.